What is up, peeps? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel on a topic that I have talked about continuously and probably nearing the end of, but a video I went out there because the initial idea for this channel was to put pieces out there that would be historical, that people could come back to and find the answers on some very important topics. So if you guys have got anything else, feel free to leave a comment down below that I can talk about and also inform you guys about. In a recent full stream, which I broke down on this channel in full, all the questions, all the things talked about by Daquan upon his return and the fall of the Thum House and the falling out with NRG and whatever happened behind the scenes, he also touches on his disappearance back in the TSM days that a lot of people have questioned for a long time. It was not just Daquan, it was also Hamlins who were gone for a long, long time with really no answers. There was a lot of speculation around. Um, of course, some of their tweets had alluded to either physical or mental health issues, which no one really questioned too deeply as to exact specifics on the nature of those situations. It was Daquan very lightly touching on why he disappeared back in the day with TSM, pretty much just summed in short saying, hey, I had to write myself. I had uh, kind of let myself go with, of course, being fully engulfed for a year straight making content. And he had a lot of real life things that he had to fix and to figure out. I've been through a lot in my life, right? I've been through a lot of traumatic experiences. I've been through a lot, a lot, a lot. And I think that a lot of the things that I went through and that I learned from and all that stuff, like I could talk about the shit that happened, talk about what I learned, talk about this, that, and the other, so that maybe it'll help somebody else in their life so they don't have to make the same mistake I did. Or maybe they can, you know, they don't have to go and make a bad decision or, you know, maybe they'll think about something differently so they'll make a different decision that'll, you know, make their life better or something. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I think about when it comes to streaming, bro. Like, I stream for fun. You know what I mean? I literally stream for fun because I love it, bro. I love seeing you guys in my chat having a good time bro like just seeing that the chat keeps freezing on my stream labs because all y'all are typing bro it makes me so happy bro hold on let me go get some water bro let me go get some water I'll be right back. all i can say is bro like all that stuff aside bro it's a breath of fresh air because one, I hate return streams, bro. I freaking hate them. I hate them. I don't like leaving ever since. Because I mean, the first time that I left in like 2019 or whatever, right? I left because basically I ignored everything in my life so I could tunnel vision on streaming and YouTube. You know what I mean? I had 365 days, you know what I mean? Of uploading YouTube videos in my first year. That's literally no days off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type, because I'm I'm a grinder, bro. I'm a hustler. I've always been that way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Always. Like, I can tell you guys about basically why I've never had a minimum wage job in my life. I feel lost, bro. Yeah, like, I don't feel like I'm myself, bro. Like, if I'm not grinding towards some hustling, whatever, like, the only reason that I left the first time was because I had to fix my life because I fucked everything up because I was just tunnel vision on streaming and YouTube the whole time, you know? And so when I came back, I wanted it to be big and I wanted to do everything that I wanted to do, bro. You know what I mean? And that's why the Thum House, that's what the Thum House is supposed to be. You know, I don't want to freaking leave again, bro. I literally just want to get on my stream and have fun and talk to you guys or whatever, bro. Like if I could have been streaming, I would have been streaming, bro. And this will forever be a topic that I'm not gonna rag on. I am not going to, you know, really critique in any way because these are personal things that very clearly he is choosing not to speak on all the specifics. And as you guys probably can't imagine, and I focus on that, you probably can't imagine because you are talking about two folks in Hamlin's and Daquan who blew up to a level that we will probably never be able to recognize and we will never be in those shoes to a point where I imagine the pressure and uh, a lot of other things, the expectations of those, those two were set so high 
that yeah, when you get fully engulfed in the social media realm and you are grinding, you are literally grinding every day because you are seeing fame and fortune that you have never seen before. And you can literally make generational wealth by fully engulfing yourself for an entire year doing nothing but content and nothing but anything for the viewers. You probably lose out on a lot of real life aspects where I imagine your real life can quite honestly turn to crap if you don't take care of yourself and if you don't take care of those real life things as well. And so he has explained his TSM disappearance, at least in short, and maybe one day we'll figure out the full details on the TSM disappearance and what exactly happened with the NRG disappearance as well, which he kind of has summarized, at least in his own words, as the internet issue being a, a big part of that. A lot of people out there wanting more, but it seems that Daquan will be returning to streaming, so we'll see if we can piece together more of these stories in the future. Till next time, what do you all think about this? A, a giant question, now finally answered. And I, I think a lot of people still have questions going forward. Till next time, do me a favor, all right? Drink up. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Okay, bye.